Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, keepingitfree.blogspot.com. Now, some of you uh, like to discuss investments with me. Um, some of you have commented on earlier videos I've done where I've recommended things like Bitcoin, Darkcoin, Monero, for example. Right? I understand they're under pressure of late. I still believe 100% in all of those coins. I believe Bitcoin is in the first half of the first inning. The potential is obvious just looking at the Forex market, right? And its transactional cost advantages over sending traditional currency, even over things like PayPal, right? Well, let's talk about a new breakthrough that I believe is going to change sports. And understand, if you're an investor and you're in on the early end, the front end, in the top half of the first inning, then um, you're going to be viewed as a kook. You're going to be viewed as a wacko, right? Even though the investment might be completely sound, right? Now, I'm making this YouTube video on a platform that people ridiculed Google for buying way back when. Now quickly YouTube in conjunction with streamers like Chromecast and Roku are rapidly taking over the world of video. Well yesterday Amazon, a richly priced stock, paid a little bit less than a billion dollars for one of the most visited websites online that incredibly a lot of people particularly people over 40 know little about the name of that website is twitch.tv right this is one of those moments where quite frankly as I heard of the purchase I thought wow that's a bargain now understand my perspective. What Twitch.tv does is it shows video games being played by participants. Now what a lot of older people who remember things like Sega Genesis back in the day don't realize is that these games now are so realistic that there are times in commercials, there's a commercial right now that purports to show Seattle Seahawk Russell Wilson right often at times the commercials actually now have digital video from video game programmers right as you look at the commercial you're gonna notice that there's a CGI component right that mirrors video games and understand there are certain things in sports, notably boxing, which I talk about a lot here online, such as concussions, detached retinas, right? Cuts, cut eyebrows, things like that, broken bones, right? Broken orbital bone, broken arms. You remember the Gabrielis fight many years ago? Right? There are things that happen in the sport that don't happen in real life in video games. Maybe the video game character gets a concussion or gets knocked out, but that's not happening in real life. Right? There's no increased risk of post-concussion syndrome. So given the realism of video games, right? just look at the latest Madden. Right? And given the risks involved in sports, and given a market that fight fans who talk about the sport in barbershops know well, right? the question, and it's ongoing, of how all-time greats would do against current fighters. Right? How would Joe Lewis do against Lennox Lewis? How would Jack Dempsey do against the heavyweight champ who idolized him and wore black because of him? Mike Tyson, right? How would Sugar Ray Robinson do against Sugar Ray Leonard, 
And how would either Sugar Ray do against Money Floyd Mayweather? Understand you can have all of those matches on a video game. And understand those matches can then be broadcast online at twitch.tv live as the match takes place. Understand too, their reputations to be made. Not all video game players are equal. There are going to be some video game players who are able to portray Mike Tyson more authentically or more effectively than others. Right? What I believe you're going to have, and understand the numbers are already there in terms of the viewership of Twitch.tv. What I believe you're going to have is you're going to have a movement. Right? It could be small. It could be great. Away from sports in real life on the field that have risks. Let's say pro football. Toward virtual sports. Online. Involving guys with big reputations, representing the teams. Understand these streams have already been monetized. If you're a video game stud on Twitch.tv, you're getting paid. You'd be surprised. So what's to prevent the development of video games that have, let's say, a realistic Floyd Mayweather? Right? What's to prevent someone from building a reputation fighting as Floyd Mayweather in the video game world from having a big fight against somebody else fighting as Ray Robinson in the video game world? Right? Understand there's money for certainly Floyd Mayweather, right? His video game rights, his likeness, right? that market is going to increase in value. There's going to be money for video game developers, right? Because, of course, they want to attract the public to the streaming of their video games on Twitch.tv, right? So they're going to tailor the games to the public's preferences. They're going to try to make the games as realistic as possible. So boxing historians looking at a game will say, that's right, that is Jack Dempsey. I recognize the bob and weave. Right? That is Dempsey in his prime. Right? And of course, the people playing the games are going to be able to make a living at it. Right? If they're able to convince the public that they're experts in what they're doing. Right? So keep an eye on this. Much like YouTube right now is worth several times what Google paid for it. Several times what Google paid for it. So too will Twitch.tv be worth if it isn't already. Several times what Amazon paid for it. Right? You don't even have to get into the world of fantasy, although that's lucrative. Right? You don't have to get into war games and stuff like that and historical reenactments and murder mystery games. And again, all of that's lucrative. Just the sports games. Right? Just being able to hypothetically pit the 1927... Yankees against, let's say, the 1984 Detroit Tigers, right? Just imagine having a series where people just drop in, right? There's a little commitment. You drop in, you say, hey, this video game player, I've heard of him. You can imagine sports leagues popping up on Twitch.tv. Right? Everyone picks their favorite historical team. 
right? You could imagine gamers going up against each other having things that couldn't possibly happen in real life. Floyd Mayweather versus Floyd Mayweather. You could have younger Mayweather against older Mayweather. You could have two guys having Mayweather fight himself to determine which one of the gamers actually is the better Floyd Mayweather. Right, so take a look at the website. Just understand already, this is one of the most visited websites online, twitch.tv. To those of you who have never heard of this site, who are scratching your heads right now, talk to your 15-year-old children. Right, talk to your daughter. Talk to your son. Go to the site. If you don't believe that today's games are realistic, just type in Madden. Right? Look at some of the recent Madden games posted. Understand that the site actually allows you to watch live events. So you can actually see two people playing Madden live. Many people might decide that rather than watch two below 500 real NFL teams, on a given Sunday, right? Struggle to see who finishes the season with three, four, or five wins. Maybe they'll want to see Jack Lambert's Pittsburgh Steelers against the current Seattle Seahawks team. See exactly how they match up, right? Understand the level of scrutiny is going to increase. The level of sophistication with the viewing public is going to increase as the market matures. These games are going to continue to get better and better, more and more realistic. Let me tell you, one of my favorite players ever in any sport is Ken Griffey Jr., baseball player. Right? Played for the Reds, played for the Mariners. Great player. This morning I was just looking at the site, checking it out, and of course I was able to see Jr. in a home run derby. And let me just say, whoever the programmer was did a great job. Whoever was playing the game did a great job. Right? They had him in a home run derby in Minnesota Stadium. The stadium's in great detail. The background is in great detail. Right? Just for a 10-minute diversion after writing some legal document, it was good theater. I sat there, I watched it, I thought, wow, this is fun, right? I wondered whether the player, the video game player, would actually have Ken Griffey Jr. in other major league games, or whether the player would actually participate in other baseball events. And, of course, there are taped events on the site as well. Right? But understand, Ken Griffey Jr., if you miss him in real life on the baseball diamond, he still exists and will always exist in the world of video games. Right? Those historical players who you loved when you were a kid, they're still around. Right? Father Time beats everyone in the real world, not the video world. Right? So take a look at Twitch.tv. Understand there's major money behind it. Understand Amazon just paid almost a billion dollars for it. Given our increased awareness of injuries in sports, of fighters we loved with Parkinson's or slurred speech or detached retinas and partial blindness in the real world, given all of that, you know, you have an opportunity to look at those athletes in their heyday, in the video world, knowing that you're watching them in the video world is not causing them physical pain, right? For investors, there are going to be numerous investment opportunities, right? This is a bonfire that's going to generate a lot of profits. Right? Take a hard look at it and think about how you can participate in the bounty, whether that's by investing in Amazon, 
whether it's by investing in video games, etc. Right? But at least be aware of this phenomenon because it is already one of the most visited sites online. It's twitch.tv. Let me hear from you if there are other investment ideas that you want to discuss here online let's go ahead and do it and just for purposes of full disclosure while I have owned Amazon at different times in the past Amazon stock I do not hold any Amazon right now let's just say I might well jump in that water down the road let me hear from you thanks for stopping by